Welcome back to Cooper and Company, and I don't like that. My people will get with your people, Kyle. Uh, Keith, I am your person. And I'm calling <laughs> Gloria and Jamie. Take Why, that down. The, the Swami will be making, he will be, he, despite people demanding him not ever return to the airways again, well, mainly Gloria and Cassandra, the Swami will Kyle, return. The, Kyle hates him. The Swami will return. All right, Keith, big day for you guys yesterday. Media Talk about it. In, well, if I could have a half a change. Uh, <laughs> media days. Okay, Berkeley. Swami won't be back this year. <laughs> Kyle Looney and I went to Birmingham yesterday. Everybody's talking about uh, who's going to win the East and the West. And uh, a lot of people disagree with who's that? each other. I'm Eddie. We'll have that interview in just a moment. Uh, he's a young looking. Keith, he's 20. Well, he's a young looking. Uh, you know what he wants to be? A quarterback. A quarterback? <laughs> The a role model, Danny. Nice, steady camera work there too. <laughs> somebody got, said, somebody Kyle, got excited, didn't they? <laughs> Kyle said he was standing in a chair. Somebody's probably pushing him over. You know, there was eight hundred and something media credentials issued for that key. Really? Come on, talk about it, some. Well, it was very interesting. Everybody's talking about Auburn. Uh, probably going to win the West. Who? What, Auburn Tigers. Brad. War Eagle, Danny Johnson. I thought you guys. Key, move it. And uh, a lot of people, of course, picking LSU to be the Cinderella. Bama probably going to be third or fourth, Jamie. No. That's what they're talking about. In the country, he meant. Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. Uh, (laughs) I'll take Georgia is the talk of the town, and they're going to be down there today. Georgia, Ole Miss, Tennessee, and Nick Saban. Saban. (laughs) Saban, sorry, Gloria. I practiced all night. Saban. Say Ben. I just call him Nick. <laughs> when I say I just call him a winner. <laughs> you just call him a savior. Yeah. Uh, and this is the he new media. Somebody last Keith, year. this is the new media guy for this year. Yes. Last year he was on the cover. Yep. And this year we got this guy. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Jimmy Johns for a moment. I said, surely we ain't got that bit for <laughs> It's going to be like the Beatles butcher cover. They'll have Jimmy Johns on a couple of those and yank them off. <laughs> That's Ooh. what will happen. So, Keith, what is your prediction? After being there yesterday and seeing all the big dogs, all 800-something television stations from around the South and reporters, what's happening? Well, in the West, it's going to be Alabama. And in the East, it's going to be Florida. Alabama in the West. First of all, then you're going against everybody's uh, thing because uh, Georgia's predicted to win the East. Florida is going to surprise people. Me and Tim got to know each other. <laughs> Give me the secrets. So you and T-Bow just like that. We are. He told me uh, he's going to send me some passes. To, so I, get, I think I'm going to the Hawaiian game. Now did, you, <laughs> now, did you get to touch the Heisman Trophy? I touched it. Made a well, picture. Well, there's Keith right there. Yeah, there he is. Heisman and me. Nice shirt, Keith. <laughs> 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 is he hiding, is he hiding something underneath? Is what I want. The to know. <laughs> hey, he <tried> to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> I bragged on you once Thank yesterday. You, you know, so was, uh, Tebow and Cabo. Yeah, was it a big deal to get to interview Tim Tebow? It was. I told y'all not to come back unless you had it. <laughs> I did remember that. Did he ask about me? You know what? He didn't bring you up, and I couldn't understand that. You know him, <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. We're like, there you go, Keith. We'll get, you got Tebow and Bobo. Yeah, we'll get back. Well, there's some other names for you. Uh, Two toner, what we call you now. All right, chicken head. Thank you very much. Good let's, job, Let's dude. go to the sports man, sports report. Don't worry, Danny. We'll get to that fish in just a moment. Right now, let's talk some uh, whatever you got to talk about there. Oh, uh, I don't know if I can talk about it. Yeah, don't mention man. that auction again. Uh, Is oh, this the girl that bid on you? Up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, it's the, said, it's, it's the other one. It's the other one. No, no, no. Go oh. to the other one. No, oh, the next one. Oh, there gone. you go. There was three bidding for me the other night, and that's, that's the one she it won. Right as soon as these girls get out of junior high, they'll be calling mine. <laughs> I didn't know your nickname was Superstar. He said, all my friends call me. And I said, I ain't never heard that before. No, listen. He told me one time I called him Bobby. He said, hey, call me Superstar. <laughs> No. Okay, chicken head. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? All right, let's get to this week's Sports Med Sports Report if we can. I don't have a nickname. Oh, Lordy. Well, you got one, before. but we can't put it on the air. 
Oh, the Atlanta Braves, that bless their hearts, they're not going to make the playoffs. And now that's even more bad news. Chipper Jones and Tim Hudson were both injured last night, both suffering injuries, and looks like they're going to be out for a while. Some yeah. bad news. Chipper Jones, yeah, he pulled a hamstring. And, of course, a hamstring can hurt for months if you're not taking care of it. So good luck to the Braves coming back. Hey, All-Star Sports Week last week in Huntsville was a grand event. I'll tell you right now, City of Huntsville, the Huntsville Sports Commission, Alabama Hats, uh, High School Athletic Association all did a wonderful job with All-Star Sports Week. And, of course, Sportsman was a big part of that. Uh, Imagine that. For last week as well. Had a great, great time. Super job. <clears throat> well, the Olympics coming up in China uh, next month. And Carolyn Miller from Huntsville will be attending. She is an athletic trainer for Sportsnet. <coughs> She's one of the trainers over at UAH. She will be the athletic trainer for the uh, United States tennis teams over in China. She leaves shortly. Hey, and you we sure this ain't that luck. Pickler girl? No, it's not Kelly Pickler. <laughs> she, she. Oh, why didn't he look at her face? <laughs> oh, my. Hey, the O'Brien Quarterback Award, the National Award, they call it the O'Brien Award for the national <laughs> top quarterback in the country. They have a watch list that's now out, and that guy named Tebow from Florida is on there. He'll never make it. he never make it. And John Parker Wilson from Alabama is on the quarterback watch. For what? Just to watch, <laughs> I guess. Oh, he's, 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 no, he's a good kid. He'll, he'll do fine. Keith, you know you'll have to pee. <laughs> oh, my. Is he over there drinking? Yeah. <laughs> What's well, in that cup? It's not you water. You do it on your, on your pants. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. D1 in Huntsville is holding that testing night for athletes ages 7 plus. It's July 31st next week. It's absolutely free. Starts at 630. Of course, SportsMed, one of the big sponsors of the uh, testing night at D1 Huntsville. Uh, Huntsville Recreation Center, uh, the department. Well, Greg Patterson, who will be on next week. They're hosting a sports fair. This is a great event. A sports fair <coughs> on Saturday, August 2nd from 9 a.m. till noon at the J.C. Building in Huntsville. Now, what they're going to hey, do Gus. has all <laughs> kinds of – all the, uh, the sports teams and all in the Huntsville area. I mean, anywhere from Frisbee to, uh, to minor league football and, and peewee football and things like that, they're going to be set up there. Sports Med, we're going to be offering physicals for the youngsters. Ages 12 and below only cost $5 for a physical, but that is Saturday – August 2nd. Why don't in you bring a doc over here and give us a physical on the air? <laughs> You'll never pass. Never. You pass. just don't know how healthy I am under yeah, all, right, all right. this fat. All this fat. <laughs> Huntsville Stars are back in town starting Monday. They'll be in town for about 10 days starting on Monday. Also, now, there is a Colorado golf course. They held a junior golf clinic. Everything was going great. The moms and dads are out there with the youngsters just having a great time. Unfortunately, some idiot decided to uh, schedule a, another event at the same time. This event featured local strippers. How did that go, Frank? That golf course again? Not too, Not too good is right. But, was it but hard the, on them? But, yeah. But the dads were heard to say after this that they want to stay for private lessons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Extreme Combat is coming up in Huntsville on August 8th at Devon Brown Center. It ought to be a lot of fun. And once again... Let me drop this name. Michael Waldrop and I are just like this now. We're buddies. He was right. in town this week. In Go Magazine coming out today in the Huntsville paper, it's got on the mini golf trail, and it's got all the holes you can play in Huntsville. Right. This golf if I remember correctly, Bobby, you won one of these uh, miniature golf things many, many years ago. Well, why don't you get a show for me, and I'll tell you all that stuff. <laughs> okay, two Tom. I did. Super We had a lot of fun. As a matter of fact, I, there was an old acquaintance of mine. I knew him for years, just a, a professional mini uh, putt-putt player. This guy won events all over, made a living playing putt-putt. And we had a tournament, and yeah, I beat him, and he got really upset. That someone or you can go him. to Golf Shores in Decatur, one of That's our right. fine advertisers. That's right. ZTV Very Hello. good place. All right, Bobby, thank you for coming up. Football season, what, 30 30-something days away. We're ready. Alabama. August 30th, I'm right? ranking them number one. Let's go to that Tim Tebow interview Keith and Kyle got yesterday. We'll come back with Danny Johnson Johnny. on this Thursday morning edition of Cooper Company Live. Y'all hang on. <laughs>
Florida Gators quarterback. What's the Gators going to do this year? <laughs> well, hopefully uh, do pretty well. You know, we're excited about the season. We're excited about our chances. Um, we've got a lot of great um, new young guys in, and some of our other young guys have really matured and stepped up. So we're excited about our chances. We're uh, working really hard. The chemistry is great on our team. So the season uh, looks pretty good right now. We'll see you when camp starts. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you.